Hi, and welcome to Fly TV. My name is Stefan Jensen. And I'm Stefan Inholsen. And today, we're doing this. We're in the uh, middle of May. We are here at Bay. I'm super, super excited. Uh, I'm here together with Stefan Enervaldsen. Stefan, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I own a tackle shop in uh, Murrum, just uh, by the river uh, Murrum, the famous river Murrum. I have the fishy shop in there. Um, fly fishing is my life. Uh, fishing is my life, but fly fishing is my dearest passion. Yeah. Um, and this fishing for fly fishing for carp is really something I every year look, in, look forward to doing. Um, so I'm very excited, just as you. So Stefan, what do you, uh, what do you think we could expect of the day? I think fishing is, is going to be tough uh, mm. this cold spring. I hope that we can get a fish to come to the surface and take our flies on the surface. Let's try it out. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with, with this fly because there's more or less absolutely no surface activity. I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna stop Brian fishing a bit, just jumping this small nymph uh, on the bottom around these lily pads. And, and if I see a fish, I'll, I'll place it and hopefully in front of him. So um, when you wanna do some carp fly fishing, it's actually uh, a lot of different flies to, to think about. Um, there's heavy nymphs, there's like worm flies, there's what you call booby flies, <laughs> which is actually made for, for rainbow fishing. Um, size wise, I, I normally fish like a size six or a size eight on a, on a heavy, heavy hook. Wide gap is preferable. Um, you want some strong equipment, I mean, these fish are, are very, very strong. They're probably the strongest fish that we got. I mean, kilo per kilo. Um, so a six to an eight weight rod. Loads of backing if you hook into a big fish um, because you're gonna need it. And that's it. And then you just get out there and try that. Stefan, get over here. I see like, Three or four big carp swimming around in here. Very close to land. Hurry up! Okay, so we started out on this spot here because it's a natural place for them to feed because they're actually feeding the birds with corns and and some other things. I, I, I don't know the, the word, what you call it, but it's a natural place for the fish to spot. And there were no fish in the beginning, but now it seems like he has gotten some fish in in front of him. So. I'm going to sneak down here and see if I can help him spot the fish. I'm just going to see if I can get up this tree a bit. If I can spot the fish here. I still need to be a bit gentle. Slow movements. Let's see how it goes. Okay, do, do you see that rock out there? Yeah. That one right on the surface? Yeah. Place your fly just behind that rock. Yeah, perfect. Let us, let us sink, let us sink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. 
You dip the net? Yeah, maybe. I can't, haven't seen the fish yet. It's just swimming around. <laughs> Feels heavier. Well done. <laughs> it's a feisty little one. Oh, feisty one. Yeah. <laughs> the line is tangled. Yeah. But it's so strong. I just can't. Yeah, thanks. Woohoo! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> well done. It's so strong, this little fella. Yeah. <laughs> and can you imagine? It's grandma, like. 10, 15 kilo, that, what that will do to you. Yeah. I mean, if that fish is that strong, then just imagine a 5, 10, 15 kilo fish. Yeah, that's why we have all the bagging on the reels, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the case. Yeah, but let's release him. Yeah, put it back. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Well done. <sighs> Oh, life is good. Yes, but it's really nice to like get to spot these fish yeah. and really see them that they are <laughs> in search of food and yeah. everything. And, <laughs> and it worked. Yeah, it did. But we had a lot more activity over here as well. So there was some fish showing up. I don't know what it is, but I'll go on. I'll go and have a look. Go have a look. Well, thanks. <laughs> That's a baby one. <laughs> oh, that's a baby. Yeah. All right. I took that fly properly anyway. I'm just gonna get it back out. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> it's always good with a take. <laughs> Eric's bay. The area which we are in, are, are, it's like a, it's a big area with a fence around it, like wildlife park. So in this park, there's a lot of different animals. There's, as we've been kidding about, these big cows called the uh, European bison, and there's wild boars, there's deer, there's there's loads of stuff that you won't see around in Sweden in, in, in normally. But here they're walking around you. The scenery is just fantastic. I've never seen anything like this. And then to be able to fish carp in this environment, it can't get it can't get any better. We've been searching around for surface activity because both Stefan and I think that's the most funny way to fish the cup. But you haven't actually found any serious activity. Nope. Nothing here. We had to move around, try to search every single water in this area. We even tried a boat. When that didn't work, we decided to go back to the smallest pond in the whole area, which is actually situated right behind the house which we are living in, and uh, started throwing our bread. Come on, fish. Fish on. We have been having extremely hard times getting these fish uh, to be active. Um, so we had, we had to take the plan C and, and feed them with some bread. Um, so we got them a bit more active. Um, a bit of cheating almost, but no. Hey, what you can do, it's been extremely cold and uh, Got a little active activity and I placed my fly and this 
This beautiful fish just took it. The carp is a very hot fighter, and even if this is not the biggest fish in the world, it's uh, they're very hot, and you you need to to take time. Um, oh, beautiful fish! Beautiful fish! Let's bring it into our oversized net. <laughs> well done. Oh. And I'm actually running a. A seven weight and it's ah beautiful <laughs> <laughs> yes it just inhaled the fly yeah <laughs> totally beautiful one ah ah well done just wet this one so that's so beautiful incredible uh, just so good fun as well. 50 centimeters. Let's put it back. Ah. Ah. Kabam. It's been rough, but uh, mm. now we're on. Now it's started. So let's see if we can get one or two more. Booyah. There you go. Oh. <laughs> yes. Activity has been gone, going down a bit, so we actually just decided to, to just fish. Um, I placed my fly along the building, and Stefan placed his fly out there. And <laughs> I hooked up, and immediately after, I, he hooked up. A double hookup on carp fly fishing. Uh, <laughs> what can you say? It's just fantastic. All right, so let's get it unhooked and take a length. It might seem oversized this net, but it's very good just to have them in, in a big net so you can you can keep them there for a while and use the least damage to the fish. You and your orange, Stefan. <laughs> well, well, it works. <laughs> yeah, for sure. A oh, beautiful fish. <laughs> 50. Exactly the same. 50 centimeters. One thing that's very important when you fly fish for carp is actually, like we just saw now with the fish that we just caught, is that when you set the hook, that you really give yourself a little extra time before you lift the rod or you sit, uh, set the hook. Um, we also see that when we fly fish for salmon. Many people, they wait a long time before they feel the weight of the fish and then they lift the rod. Um, before, when Stefan, I was just looking at him and I saw his fly under the water surface and the carp took it down and he actually waited for a very, very long time. I saw the tense of the line. And then he lifted the rod and the carp was just hooked perfectly. So a lot of extra patience when you have to set the hook for the, for the carp. That's really the key to, to get them. So what we're looking for at the moment is uh, it's like small rings uh, where the fish go up. They just go up with the mouth and just s suck down something on the surface, in this case uh, bread. It's not, it's not a big swirl or anything. It, it can be, but very often it's just like like a dime, uh, like a like like a little coin, you'll just see them come up and take uh, take something off the surface, and uh, so you really need to to be to be on uh, when you're fishing for this. You need to 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 use your eyes a lot and let it rest. Sometimes, if if the activity disappears, let it rest. Uh, sit down and have a look for five minutes, ten minutes, whatever it takes. And then you're on, because they are very spooky, these fish. So, so sometimes you need to let them rest. We just noticed that, uh, that all the spread that we out earlier that the carp they don't really take it they just like go up beneath the bread and like push it a little bit and just touch it um, 
So what we're fishing now is these flies that float and when we first cast them up, but then very slowly they start to sink and sink slow. And it pays off quite well for us actually. This is how the fly looks. Chenille body and a little foam uh, in the end. Uh, and of course, a very strong hook. So you see the fly floats now. And then it starts slowly, slowly, slowly to sink. And you can see how colored the water actually is because the fly almost disappears. Now it's gone. So the um, basic setup for, or at least for my carp fishing, is a six to eight weight rod, good size reel with a, quite a, a big amount of backing because these fish can you take you into the backing and, and strip you. Um, a floating line and uh, about 9 to 12 foot leader. Um, well that's more or less it. So easy peasy. Come on, fishy. You're too small to be that strong. Great. Beautiful, stunning looking fish. Look at the scales and all the, look at it. It's just, they're just beautiful. So the, uh, the little booby thing really did the job again. It's been working very good for us this a trick which I've done with these flies and I'm often doing with flies of this type is that I'm actually cutting off the body material underneath so I get a, a big bend, a big hook bend. I don't want the, the material to stand all the way out and, and stop the fish from from getting it, it suck it in properly. So I want the hook set to be perfect so I'm just trimming the, uh, the, the crystal. Yeah, behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then, yeah. Nice. Such a nice take. Maybe we don't need the net. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Oh, <laughs> that's how it is. Nice though. They fight so well. Yeah, they do. It's so much fun. It is. And can you imagine like a 10 kilo fish? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. This is more fish. Uh, but uh, so good anyway. Quick release. <laughs> Come on, you little fella. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Cool. I just thought that I should uh, show you guys how I do my retrieve at the moment when I can't. There's no surface activity, so we're actually fishing these flies extremely slowly just on, on the bottom. Uh, just dragging them with long uh, breaks. And I'm just pulling the line very, very slowly and not at all a lot like that and I'm leaving it and I'm actually not feeling any in the line I'm watching the line hanging from my rod tip so when I pull it you see line lifts up if it lifts up more than it's doing now um, 
there's two possibilities. It's either stuck in the bottom or a fish uh, is grabbing the other end and it's taking my fly. So that's when I just pull a little bit more and when I get in contact with the fish, I just lift my rod. And hopefully the fish uh, is hooked. Den er stor. Ja. Oh. I just put the fly out and I actually this fish came and took the fly while it was just on the surface, just sank. I was just sinking down. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, Stefan. Um, I think it's a better fish. It's difficult to tell yet, but it's strong. Um, but carp are, are some of this. Or probably the strongest fish kilo per kilo in Sweden. And a very smart fish too. Old fish. Oh. Ah, got it. <laughs> nice one. It's a good. That's an okay fish. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Flies out. The water. Beautiful. <laughs> Come on. Mr. You want to measure him? Nah, I'll just put him out. Yeah. Is it, you hear the sound? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the beautiful scales on this one. Magnificent fish. So, let's put him back. What? <laughs> that, was, that was a smooth release. <laughs> well, he was alright. Great. Right. 